joined by the deputy ranking on parliament education committee honorable uh, dr clement apak doc thank you so much for your time this afternoon on 12 live uh, thank you for having me on your program. Well, there's a very worrying um, issue and revelation by the Member of Parliament for Noto Kujetua Blakwa. But has these findings come to your, your committee yet? Well, the findings have not come to the committee. Mm. But I remember very well that sometime in 2023, the ranking member on my committee, my boss, the Honorable Nochu, mm. had raised alarm concerning information that had come to his attention, suggesting that uh, a company was rebagging expired and unwholesome rice for distribution to our students in secondary schools. It was denied. And so now that through the Honorable Sam Okujatra Blakwa, there is ample evidence that indeed this took place and that even the FDA had come to the conclusion that a said rice was not fit for human consumption and yet was fair to our students. We expect that law enforcement would take the needed action. These persons who deliberately with the connivance of government appointees fed this expired and unwholesome rice to our wards ought to be arrested and prosecuted and the officers who sat by and or connived to allow this to happen must also face sanctions mm. this is what we would expect from a system where there is accountability this is a crime against our wards mm. And the perpetrators ought to be punished accordingly. But look, let me tell you that this is yet another reason why Ghanaians ought to reject Mahmoud Bamiya and the MPP. Because this is not the first time I have become aware of buffer stock food suppliers supplying or wholesome and expired food items to our wards in the secondary system. I know of the Auditor General's report bringing to the fore expired mackerel, expired tin tomatoes, and we know of instances where some of these buffer stock food company contractors have even undersupplied food to our secondary schools. So the only option available to Ghanaians legitimately mm. is to vote out the MPP vote for the NDC so that we can hold these criminals accountable and bring justice to the people of this country. Right. Uh, it is despicable, mm -hmm. it is unacceptable, it is wicked, it is selfish that those who are supposed to superintend over feeding arrangement for our wars are collaborators in getting corrupt companies and their assigns to feed our wards expired and unwholesome food. This is not acceptable. Honorable, you are yet to receive this report from Okujito Ablaka beyond this conversation and calling for the arrest and prosecution of these officials. Is your committee going to compel a certain investigative state institutions to investigate this matter? Well, what more investigation is there to be done? I've seen the documentation that Okujito has put out. Mm. It is straightforward. It is conclusive. What ought to happen is for law enforcement to do the needful. What ought to happen is for the government to do the needful. But guess what? I doubt if this corrupt, greedy, insensitive, and selfish Akupado Bamiya MPP government would do anything because their own appointees are clearly culpable. And that is why we must directly appeal to the good people of Ghana mm. to do the needful. If the NDP is booted out of power, we will take over. We will address all of these issues, including putting in place policies that would improve and sustain the entire Frisinia School program. That is the only way forward. Right. Honorable, thank you so much for your time this afternoon.
You are welcome. So that's the deputy ranking on the Parliament Education Committee, Dr. Clement Apak.